guys had to change things up on the offensive line this week with Sam out? Uh, how's that going for you during practice? Feels the same, looks the same. Uh, uh, it's not really a big change. They've played the positions before, so not really a big move. It's comfortable, I guess. What are you not seeing with the run game in the last three weeks? What am I not seeing? Not running. Well, Shit, that's not running the ball. I don't know. That's not, I'm, I'm not the one to ask that. I don't know. I'm just doing what I'm coached to do. You know, if they call him, what they call him, that's, that's just what I'm coached to do. I don't know. Um, we're trying to run the ball. We're trying to get it started, but I don't know. We're just out there playing football, doing what our coaches are asking us to do. Listen to music and read the Bible and watch a couple of the college football games. I get a little bit of rest before we load up the buses and come here. Um, eat a snack, drink some Jamba Juice and some water. And that's about it. Um, and then on away games, if it's, a, if it's a Starbucks in the hotel, I go to a Starbucks, read the Bible, and listen to music, watch college football games. It's a ritual, so that's about it. The hard ones, do they go slow? Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. Uh, the Colorado game went by pretty fast, and the UCLA game went by fast. It came quick, but like the Texas Tech game took forever to come, and it took forever to end, too. So, come on, no, it's just ritual. That's it. Uh, some different every week, and then I get scripture sent to me, you know, from an old coach of mine, and I might just read the scripture. If I have time to read the Bible, I just read the scripture he sent me, and um, that's it. Every game day, yeah. I might start reading it in the locker room. I try to try to be around, be active around my teammates in the locker room, but I'm try to find the space to read it in the locker room also. Aggressive. Very aggressive, very fundamentally sound. Kind of like Colorado, they all been there together for a minute. You know, um, got a lot of juniors and seniors on the team. They farmed their own system. You know, I don't think they brought in anybody new. It's probably a couple new players in. Um, very aggressive, very fund fundamentally sound, um, very disciplined. You know, hard nosed football. You know, Washington, Washington State's always been a scrappy team. Ever since I've been in, in college, they've always been a scrappy team. So we just be gotta gotta be prepared and. Be ready for whatever they bring, because you know every week is something new. So, whatever our game plan is, hopefully it pans out and <clears throat> we be ready for it. Talks in after call, but uh, you had a big 37-yard run in the Spartan formation. Is that something you personally would like to do more? It's not my pay grade. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just like I said. I'm just out there doing whatever I'm supposed to do. Um, if they ask me to do that, I'll do it. If they ask me to do something else. They asked me to line up at left tackle, left guard. I'm going to do it. You know, I'm doing, willing to do anything for my teammates and for this team. But um, I don't know. They just, my number was, my name was called, my number was called, and I had to make a play, and that's what I did. I mean, is that a formation that's easier for someone like yourself to gain yards? Or? I mean, I ran it a lot. I mean, I did it a lot growing up. I did it a lot in high school, you know, so I mean, it's pretty easy. And then me, with a person like me and the patience that I have, I mean, that's a one-of-a-kind kind of package you can run with, the, with a guy like me. So, I don't know. I'm, like I said, I'm willing to do anything for the team. And if they need me to line up at left guard or tackle or center and snap a long snap on punt, I mean, that's what I'm willing to do. I'm willing to sell, sell myself out for my teammates and uh, do whatever it takes to get the win. Just like the, the threat of having you and Kalen as an option back there, is that like something you like to keep the defense off balance? I mean, uh, every time we've done it, it has. So I mean, yeah, it's kind of hard for a defense to get a get a get a feel when you got two dynamic backs like that in the backfield. You know, who can make plays inside and outside. You know, inside zone, outside zone, uh, running routes. You know, so it, it 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 gives a defense nightmares. I would say it gives a defense nightmare, and it's hard to prepare for. You know, because then you got one guy, you got the short little scrappy back, then you got you know Kalen and what he he does what he does too. So. It's hard to just hard uh, hard to prepare for. Is, is there 
is there anything that translates when, when you're in that formation that you can like pass along to a guy like Dylan or, or Jack in practice when you can see like the, the reads and pre-snap stuff? Especially when I when I when I'm in by myself, I know like I I'm I'm an offensive freak, so it's like I can read a defense like it's nothing. So we got a rookie guy back there, and it's like okay, Dylan, they got six in the box. You can be patient. Okay, Dylan, they got eight in the box. You know you want to spit it out. Dylan, they might bring the safety down. Be 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 patient. They might bring the safety down if we move this guy into motion, and it's gonna be man coverage. So it's I mean it's like, like I said, I'm a I'm a de I'm an offensive freak, and I can read a defense. So it's like. It's it's easy for me, and it's I'm I'm gladly I'd love to pass my knowledge on to somebody else like Dylan, you know Jack, you know and whoever else they bring in, like a couple guys that they bring in next year too. So um, I love it, man. I love it. It's like when we played when we played um, UCLA and Brady went down. I was calling I was calling the protections out on the field. So I mean I love it. I I I'd do it all game if I could. It's like it's like having another quarterback on the field. And that's something I learned that from Mike Mike Berkovici too. Mike, I learned a lot of stuff from Mike and Berko, you know. But um, reading, just reading defenses and knowing your fronts and knowing your knowing the personnel they have on defense. So you might have a mismatch. Like, okay, this guy's 250 pounds. He can't and he can't run. So you got a mismatch every time. So I mean, this this learning and learning whatever I know, giving it to somebody else so they can give it to somebody else. You know, your knowledge goes a long way.